Lee McConnell, you've just had another medal upgrade. I know you've you've had them in the past, but was it nicer this time in front of a Scottish crowd? It was, it was. It was nice to have it in front of the track, that I, in a track I used to train in, in front of, you know, a Glasgow crowd where, you know, my athletics, most of my running was done. That's all my, where my training sessions were done here in Glasgow. So it was nice to receive this medal here. And I know you have said before as well that it's good to get the medal eventually and be acknowledged, but is there still that feeling that there's gaps in your career that, that weren't gaps? Yeah, I mean, th this is my third upgrade, and um, although it's nice to recognise that this is what we should have been given, it, you know, not getting it at the time wasn't great for my career, because getting medals and gaining the confidence you get from that, that's what spurs you on, you know, the, the following season, during the winter training, and, and that's what gives you the confidence, and you, I sort of, I've mi I miss that, so I think definitely my career has been hampered, but it is nice that the b record books are sort of changing and the results are changing. Well, to a happier topic, you were inducted to the Scottish Athletics Hall yeah. of Fame uh, back in November. I think you weren't quite able to attend the dinner at the time, but, but you are there with the names like uh, Eric Little and Alan Wells and so on. must be a nice feeling. It is, yeah. It was a real honour to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Um, quite unexpected. So it was, it was really nice. That, um, again, that sort of all the hard work that you put in is some sort of appreciating it. So that's nice. <laughs> Turning to the present day, I know you'll be you're very complimentary, I think, about the current generation of, yeah. of Scottish athletes. And how so how pleased are you that, that there were nine competing here at, in a GB team? It's brilliant. I, um, it's it's absolutely incredible. Obviously, when I was competing, there wasn't as, quite as many Scottish athletes on the team, so it's so good to see that there's more of them on the team. But the big thing is they're all really good, and they've all you know they're making the finals, and I'm really looking forward to see what's about to come um, tomorrow night because I think we've got a real good chance of. You know, getting another couple of medals for from the Scottish athletes. I mean, and you had the limelight quite significantly, probably for a number of years. How do you think Laura's handling that? Are you impressed with the way she's handled Laura Muir? Yeah, definitely. Um, she's um, delivering when it, whatever she's asked. Um, she's doing a fantastic job on the track. She's um, she's confident and she's. Um, She's got a really good head on her shoulders, you know, she's sensible, she's committed, she just knows what she needs to do and, and, and she's coping with the nerves and with the pressure that comes with being a, a favourite in a hometown and she's just dealing with it really well and it's, um, it's a fantastic race to watch last night. Well I think she's told us actually that she's handling it better now than she did obviously a few years ago. Did you find yourself that you had to grow into that role and, and get used to the fact that your, your, your face is going to be there all the time? You learn, you know, and, and there's going to be knocks along the way. Laura's had some knocks and she's learned from that. And it's those knocks that are probably helping her deliver the performance she's, she's now delivering. Um, she's learned from those experiences. She didn't walk away and make the same mistake again. You know, she's came back to Glasgow after disappointment at Commonwealth Games and she's making sure she's not going to walk away disappointed this time. Thanks, Lee.